Okay, now what we're going to talk about here is I think they're called Mobius loops. Uh, it's basically the flying around. Uh, let's assume you know you've got all of your forward flight figured out. You've got it forward, and you've got it inverted. So basically, you see how I'm going from just regular forward flight to inverted forward flight. But in between, I throw in basically a half of an elevator tick-tock right there. So see how I'm pulling left? You know how I, I said, you know, when we're flying around forward, we're going to be going up left on the left stick, but down left on the aileron? It's hard to hard to exaggerate because it's such small inputs when you're actually doing it uh, but when you're flying forward it's that and then you're doing a little left so whatever direction you're going when you're just doing your uh, bank turns you're gonna el do your aileron tick tock in that direction so you know you're pulling this way then you just go boom and then go all the way over and then start going to that other orientation and then you're also going to be doing the same thing flying around kind of pulling it in another direction and then boom you just push the right stick in that same direction that you're flying. So, for example, I'm just doing this, pulling up, giving a little bit of left on my left on my right stick, and then all the way, trying to exaggerate it a little bit. Same thing here, and then right all the way, just to turn it over. And it's basically a, a little transition. You have to flip your mind after that elevator. Flip your mind into oh, I'm in inverted forward mode. It's not going to work unless you're comfortable flying in both of these modes, just the regular forward and inverted forward. See, you're gonna f Just basically do that aileron tick-tock. It's about trying to make it smooth. The best you, if you can make it really look really good, you know, really good bank turn, and then it just seems like it just seamlessly goes into that transition. See? It's like, oh, before you know it, you're just flying inverted. You know? Just roll it right over. And then it's the same thing going in reverse. You know how we're <clears throat> we're kind of pulling up and right on the stick, so then I'm just going to do another boom. Right aileron. And then we're going left on the, this time, and then boom, left, tick-tock. So it's like, it's just that little tick-tock right there in between. Are you doing a reverse, and then er, inverted reverse. Reverse, and inverted reverse. So you also don't want to get sighted, so throw just a regular figure eight in there, so that you're going the other direction. Boom, over that side. Inverted reverse this way. Maybe another figure eight, so you're going the other direction. See? And then if you can get to where you're transitioning forward, forward inverted, and just get a figure eight going in there. Pull over there. So it's all about throwing that little half tick tock right there in the middle and then being comfortable at switching between the orientations. So it's, like I said, it's not going to work unless you're comfortable with all of these orientations. And then, well, once you are, uh, then you're all set. And it just comes down to practice. If, if you, you find yourself that after you do the transition, you're getting a little messed up, that's perfectly natural. Your brain has to just readjust to the fact that, oh, I've just changed orientation. How do I do that again? Oh, yeah, okay, go. that's how I'm doing it. Oh, changed orientation again. How am I doing that? Uh, so in between, when you're doing that little tick-tock, just oh, transitioning right there. And then the, mo the easier you can get that transition in your brain, the more smooth that little transition is going to work when you throw your little aileron tick-tock there in the middle. So that's the way how we do these... I guess I ca we call them big Mobius loops or Mobius circuits, uh, whatever.